Shots fired, shots fired. More cars, send everyone. Tonight, newly released police body cam video showing the final minutes of a deadly ambush. Officer shot, officer shot. Late at night in Bristol, Connecticut. Oh, oh, Two officers killed. Oh, the sole surviving officer, Alex Ayarato, desperately seeking cover behind a vehicle after being shot in the leg. A barrage of gunfire rings out. Screams heard in the background. From his position, Ayarato fires a single shot that authorities say struck the suspect, Nicholas Bircher, ending the shootout. One down, suspect down. Connecticut's Inspector General releasing a portion of Officer Ayarato's body camera video and a preliminary report saying Bircher fired more than 80 rounds. Law enforcement sources say he used a semi-automatic rifle similar to an AR-15. Officer Ayarato, who authorities say was seriously wounded, was well enough to leave the hospital the next day to continue his recovery. Admirable and courageous, uh, I think, what you see on this videotape. Police say Officer Alex Hamsey, an eight-year veteran, was declared dead at the scene. Sergeant Dustin DeMonte, a 10-year veteran, died at the hospital. The three responded to what investigators say was a 911 call Wednesday night, just after 10.42 p.m., intended to lure the officers into the ambush. Earlier in the day, authorities say Butcher was kicked out of a bar and cited by the police for being disorderly, then made the 911 call from home. Several police processions last week honored the officers. The officers' deaths come as the country has seen a rise in police being killed in the line of duty. Through September of this year, a total of 252 officers have been shot in the line of duty, with 50 killed from gunfire. On pace for a record since the National Fraternal Order of Police began collecting data in 2015. I would hope that the community um, appreciates and understands the sacrifice that police officers make day in and day out. In Bristol, tributes pouring in. A makeshift memorial now growing in front of the police department as the community mourns their fallen heroes and celebrates the bravery of the officer who survived. The suspect's younger brother also was wounded in the shootout. Police have yet to describe his condition or his role in the deadly encounter. For now, authorities remain focused on honoring the officers who gave their lives, with the city expected to hold a massive funeral service sometime later this week. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.